Chapter 19, section 19.2, we're going to balance redox reactions in acidic solution. Our first example, we have to start by labeling our oxidation states. We know that oxygen is a negative 2, 2 times 3 is negative 6, 5, that makes chlorine a plus 5. Negative 2 for oxygen again, 2 times 2 is negative 4, so plus 4 for sulfur. 2 times 4 is negative 8, 7, 6 makes this a plus 6. And this chloride ion is telling you it is a negative 1 charge. So the chlorine changes from plus 5 to minus 1, and that is a reduction. And then the sulfur goes from plus 4 up to plus 6, which is an oxidation. So we'll write our half reaction, starting with Cl plus 5, changing to Cl minus 1. Since plus 5 has a higher oxidation number, we're going to write Cl plus 5 plus some number of electrons yields Cl minus 1. Then we're going to write a half reaction from sulfur plus 4 to sulfur plus 6. Since plus 6 is the higher oxidation state, we're going to write sulfur plus 4 yields sulfur plus 6 plus some number of electrons. The electrons always accompany the number with the higher oxidation state. We need to determine how many electrons were transferred. From plus 5 down to minus 1, that's a total transfer of 6 electrons. And from plus 4 to plus 6, that's a total transfer of 2 electrons. Now we need to balance the electrons. We need them both to equal 6. So going to multiply these by 3 and by doing that that's going to give me a 3 here, a 3 here, and 3 times 2 equals 6 here. So now my electrons are equal 6 and 6. This tells me the new coefficients that I should put in the original reaction. So in front of S plus 4 I want to put a 3. In front of S plus 6 I want to put a 3. So we are now at ClO3 minus plus 3SO2 yields 3SO4 2 minus plus Cl minus. Now we want to balance the oxygens and the hydrogens. First we'll make sure that our masses are equal. We have one chlorine on the left, one chlorine on the right, three sulfurs on the left, three sulfurs on the right. We save oxygen and hydrogen for last. Now to balance oxygen. We're going to add up the total on the left. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 3 gives me 9 oxygens on the left. 3 times 4 is 12 oxygens on the right. So I need to add 3 more on the left side. And we're going to do that by adding waters. So we're going to add 3 waters in order to add 3 more oxygens. Now we're going to look at our hydrogens. On the left side I have 3 times 2 is 6 hydrogens. And on the right side, I have none. So we need to add six hydrogens on the right. And we'll do that just like that. Six H plus. So our final equation will look like this. And this would be down here our final answer. Another example, hydrogen is a plus one. One times two is two, so that makes this a negative two. Oxygen, negative 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 5. This needs to be plus 5. S8 is neutral, so it gets a 0. Oxygen is negative 2, which makes this nitrogen a plus 2. Sulfide, sulfur goes from negative 2 to 0, so that is my oxidation. And nitrogen goes from plus 5 down to plus 2, so that is my reduction. Half reactions. Between negative 2 and 0, 0 is a higher oxidation state. So I will write S negative 2 yields S80 plus some number of electrons. Between plus 5 and plus 2, plus 5 is the higher oxidation state. So we have N plus 5 plus some number of electrons yields N plus 2. Now we have a special circumstance here. Notice this number 8 here. This means that I need to have eight sulfurs on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and place an eight there. Now I'm going to determine how many electrons have been transferred. 
from negative 2 to 0 is a difference of 2 electrons. However, that's for each sulfur. So 2 electrons times 8 sulfurs is a total of 16 electrons that have been transferred. Between plus 5 and plus 2, that is 3 electrons that have been transferred. And so now, we'll balance the number of electrons. The easiest way to do this is up here, we're going to multiply 16 times 3, and down here we'll multiply 3 times 16. This way, it's going to help these electrons and these electrons be equal by multiplying them to each other. So I'll distribute these now. 3 times 8 is 24. Put a 3 here, and 3 times 16 equals 48. 16 goes here. 16 times 3 is 48 and then a 16 will go here. So now I can put my new coefficients back up into the reaction. So the 24 will go here. Then we'll have in front of n plus 5 a 16. In front of S8 we have a 3. And in front of n plus 2 we have another 16. So now let's rewrite our equation as it is. 24 hydrogen sulfides, 16 nitrates yields 3 sulfurs plus 16 nitrogen monoxide. Now we want to balance, make sure our masses are balanced, everything but hydrogen and oxygen. So we have 24 sulfurs on the left, 24 sulfurs on the right, 16 nitrogens on the left, 16 nitrogens on the right. Now we'll balance oxygen. 16 times 3 is going to give me 48 oxygens on the left, and then over here I have 16 oxygens on the right. That means that we need to add another 32 oxygens on the right. So we'll write plus 32 waters. Now we're going to check our hydrogen. And here we have 64 hydrogens on the left, and I'm sorry, on the right, and on the left we have 48 hydrogens. Which means that we need to add 16 hydrogens to the left side. So plus 16 H plus. This gives us a final answer of, and this is our final answer. Oxygen is negative 2, 2 to 4 is negative 8, 7. This should be plus 7. This one's a little tricky. Each hydrogen is a plus 1, and we have 4 hydrogens, so that's a plus 4 overall. Oxygen is a negative 2 which means this carbon has to be negative 2 so that the positives and negatives balance out. Here, each hydrogen is a plus 1, 3, 4, so 4 hydrogens plus 1, that's a plus 4 overall. Each oxygen is a negative 2, which is a negative 4 overall. So since we have plus 4 and minus 4, that makes each of these carbons neutral, so it's going to be a 0. Oh. So manganese goes from plus 7 to plus 2, which is our reduction. Carbon goes from negative 2 to 0, which is our oxidation. Our half reactions, plus 7 and plus 2, since plus 7 is a higher oxidation state, we're going to write Mn plus 7 plus some number of electrons yields Mn plus 2. So the electrons go on the left side with the plus 7. Between negative 2 and 0, we're going to put the electrons on the right side. So we're going to have carbon negative 2 yields, and this is a little bit tricky because we don't just have one neutral carbon here, we have two of them. So we'll go ahead and put a little subscript of 2 because we're dealing with two carbons in this compound, plus some number of electrons. Now because of this 2, that means we also have to have a 2 here. Total transfer of electrons from plus 7 to plus 2 is a difference of 5 electrons. From negative 2 to 0 is a difference of 2 electrons. 2 times 2 carbons is going to be a total of 4 electrons difference. Now we want to get the electrons to be balanced. So 5 and 4, we're going to multiply them to each other. So this will be times 4, and this one will be times 5. Now we're going to distribute 
So this 4 distributes and gives us a 4 here. 4 times 5 is 20. And a 4 here. 5 times 2 gives me 10. Get a 5 here. And 5 times 4 is 20. So now I have 20 electrons in both scenarios. So I'm going to place my new coefficients back into the reaction. We'll have a 4 here. We have a 10 here. A 5 here. And a 4 here. Now I'm going to rewrite my equation as it stands. Two ions. First we're going to make sure that our masses are balanced. Four manganese, four manganese. We have two carbons times five is ten carbons. Ten carbons. Now we can balance our oxygens and hydrogens. So on the left side we have sixteen plus ten gives me twenty-six oxygens. And on the right, I have 2 times 5 is 10 oxygens. So this means what I need to do is add another 16 oxygens. And I'll do that by adding 16 waters. Now we'll look at hydrogen. On the left side, we have 3 plus 1 makes 4 hydrogens, and 4 times 10 is 40 hydrogens. On the right side, we have 3 plus 1 makes 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 16 times 2 is 32. So that's going to be 52 hydrogens on the right. So I need to add another 12 hydrogens on the left. So we'll do plus 12 hydrogens on the left. So our final answer Oxygen is negative 2, 2 times 2 is negative 4, hydrogen is a plus 1, which makes nitrogen plus 3. Here we have negative 2, positive 2, negative 2, positive 4. This one's very different because the oxidation and the reduction are going to occur from the same element. This nitrogen, as it goes from plus 3 to plus 2, that is the reduction. When the same nitrogen goes from plus 3 to plus 4, that's the oxidation. Now we'll write our half reactions. Between plus 3 and plus 2, plus 3 is a higher oxidation state. So we're going to write N plus 3 plus some number of electrons yields N plus 2. And then N plus 3 and N plus 4, we're going to give plus 4 of the electrons. So we'll have N plus 3 yields N plus 4 plus some number of electrons. Now let's see how many electrons have transferred total between these. From a plus 3 to plus 2, it's a total of one electron transferred. And from plus 3 to plus 4, it's again one electron transferred. So now these electrons are balanced to begin with. So my new reaction continues to be HNO2 yields NO plus NO2. Now we have to make sure the masses are balanced. Notice that here we only have one nitrogen, whereas in the right we have two nitrogens. So that means we want to place a two here. Two nitrogens, two nitrogens. Now I can balance the oxygens. Two down two gives me four oxygens on the left, and on the right I have three oxygens. So we need to add one more. So we'll add one water on the right hand side to balance out that one oxygen missing. And then now we'll check our hydrogens and on the left side we have two hydrogens and on the right side we have two hydrogens so since those are already balanced we are finished. So the final answer is going to be